Steve Jobs. It is 1958. IBM passes up the chance to buy a young fledgling company that has invented a new technology called Xerography. Two years later, Xerox is born, and IBM has been kicking themselves ever since. It is 10 years later, the late 60s. Digital equipment, DEC, and others invent the mini computer. IBM dismisses the mini computer as too small to do serious computing and therefore unimportant to their business. DEC grows to become a multi hundred million dollar corporation before IBM finally enters the mini computer market. It is now 10 years later, the late 70s. In 1977, Apple, a young, fledgling company on the West Coast, invents the Apple II, the first personal computer as we know it today. IBM dismisses the personal computer as too small to do serious computing and unimportant to their business. The early 80s, 81. Apple II has become the world's most popular computer and Apple has grown to a $300 million company, becoming the fastest growing corporation in American business history. With over 50 competitors vying for a share, IBM enters the personal computer market in November 81 with the IBM PC. 1983. Apple and IBM emerge as the industry's strongest competitors, each selling approximately $1 billion worth of personal computers in 1983. Each will invest greater than $50 million for R&D and another $50 million for television advertising in 1984, totaling almost one quarter of a billion dollars combined. The shakeout is in full swing. The first major firm goes bankrupt, with others teetering on the brink. Total industry losses for 83 outshadow even the combined profits of Apple and IBM for personal computers. It is now 1984. It appears IBM wants it all. Apple is perceived to be the only hope to offer IBM a run for its money. Dealers, initially welcoming IBM with open arms, now fear an IBM-dominated and controlled future. They are increasingly and desperately turning back to Apple as the only force that can ensure their future freedom. IBM wants it all and is aiming its guns on its last obstacle to industry control, Apple. Will Big Blue dominate the entire computer industry? The entire information age? Was George Orwell right about 1984? On the day we celebrate the first glorious anniversary of the information purification directives. Secure from the pests of a contradictory thoughts. Our unification of thoughts is more powerful a weapon than any fleet or army on earth. We are one people, with one will, one resolve, one cause. Our enemies shall talk themselves to death, and we will bury them with their own. January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984.
That ad is going to run one week before Macintosh is introduced. And our ad agency that put it together is here today, Shia Day, Jay Shiat's here, the uh, principal, uh, Lee Clow and Steve Hayden that uh, wrote the copy and did the creative are also here. You might, I guess they just heard what you thought.